I hate when my mic is muted uh, when I start, so I always have to check. Also, I'm gonna up my volume a little bit. I can't really hear it as well. That should be better. Okay then, so. I did only a little bit between parts, but... Okay, we're gonna switch Nia back in. Very worst case scenario is I'll do some extra stuff on the side in this part. That's the very worst case scenario. Alright. Zeke is not ready yet, I can tell you that much. So we're gonna skip travel back to Temperantia. Central Plain. I guess it's... Overlook Hill? I don't even know. Let's find out. It's gonna warp me to one of the areas for sure. Let's rest the spell. It's gotta be around here. So, shall we? That's where we were being. Ah, uh... oh, it's over there. It's all over there. Just gotta go up there. At least they'll stay put, you know. There's one good thing that Xenoblade has done for since the first game is even if you get stuck in a boss, you can always go back and do stuff and start pretty much right where you need to start. Maybe except near the end game, but that doesn't matter as much. I didn't get to do too much, unfortunately. The wind is my mate. Tom wins. Lend Poppy me your transient engaged. fleeting aid. Let's try this again. I, I also got rid of some of their weaker blades so that they don't switch to him. Oh. You know, because I think that's okay. one thing that really screws me up. Take you down. In I go. Make sure you got my tail yes. back. All right. Break. It won't be that. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to break for sure. All right then. As long as I can stay on the side. I mean, the problem is near the end. I don't know what happened really. Oh, really? Okay, there we go. I don't want to switch to Dahlia. It's at least unlikely. Rolling smash. I think we'd only broke once this guy, and that was uh, maybe by luck. I forgot to put up my uh, party gauge. Gravity, how about that? I don't know, maybe I should take out Tora for uh, someone who can uh, be more of a tank. I don't know if uh, Morai counts as a tank. You can't do that! I'm not sure I'm building up my party gauge for sure. You have unwavering resolve. And we can't use Black Abyss. It didn't connect. I'm trying something out. Ah, uh, we're not gonna get it. Oh, I got blasted. Ow. Wow, he's really turning. At least the affinity with my blade's good. Rolling smash! Ha! Just give me the headshot. I guess I use that then. Dark tide would be good, for sure. Okay, maybe splash hazard for recovery, but razor red. Rolling smash! Someone got sh shackled. Come on, man! Build it up! Come on, man! Someone, I don't care who. There we go, Dark Tide. I don't know what's gonna happen, though. There we go, excellent. Build it up for a chain attack eventually. Definitely save it up for a chain attack. Steam bomb. Maybe get steam explosion. Maybe they can build steam explosion for me. That would be cool. Oh, nice! I never had this with her, so I didn't know what to expect. The is now oh, nuts. This is the bad part. This is when he really goes overboard. Just a little bit more. And then we'll do eventually. Just a little bit more, and then I'm going to try a chain attack. 
Especially if I could get a third yeah. element on him, that would be like the Don't best thing the ever. I think I'm a little bit better now, though. No effect. It didn't connect. God damn it! Hey, when they switch. Like, I don't know where it went. Oh no! More eggs down. Me is down. Great. We're not gonna be able to. God damn it! I waited too long. I'm all right. Stand up and fight, Strax. That's here. Let me take you. We're not going to be able to do it now. Heal. Eh, thank you. Well, unlikely for the chain attack. Very unlikely for a chain attack. Very, very unlikely for a chain attack. Connect? When did I get Mithra out? I don't even remember. There goes more egg. God damn it. It's not working now. I lost my freaking chain attack. Where are the recoveries? He's down. Like I'm surviving just by circumstance right now. I might need to use my thing. Build up! Oh my god, I'm gonna use this. Not very good. I got blown down. Man, I'll never build this back up. Oh my god, this electricity really hurts. No effect. Where'd you go? I can never find these things. There's one there. I'm never gonna build up another chain attack. I might be able to win. Might only. Need that. I need that. We will not Everyone's fall here. Oh, well, let's try the explosion. Royal, you alive. How does it do? All right. I didn't get my chain attack, but I did it. It's all that matters. I don't get it. I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own. But... I couldn't do anything. Oh, fine. She knew the risk. Nothing's changed. I'm just as weak as I've always been! Actually, she might become one of our blades? Unless the core's been Jim. damaged. What happened? To make you like this. What is that? That? Orion Army! So many of them! What? No! Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> At this rate, I don't think there's any stuff. I, I didn't expect the word shit in this for game so. for some reason. 
They think Mor Ardain attacked them illegally, with no declaration of war. This is bad. If someone doesn't explain what's really going on... But there's no time for that. So what? We just give up. Heavy cannons. That's Uriah's main weapon. They're both ready. Here too. More Ardain also readying artillery. I don't care if we're not going to make it in time. We need to get to Uriah. Right. Wait. Oh, is that a, the Titan of some? Which Titan is that? Of ah, yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. It's the yeah, Indol's Titan. I was trying to think of the name when I was uh, trying to. When it came up. Chapter 5 Masters and Slaves. Things are getting heavy here. Uh, no. And I have reasons still. In this game, I'm okay not saving. Oh no, it's Chapter 6 Wounds. Masters and Slaves is over. I guess the wounds of Jin. Yeah. You little scamp. Do you know how much the core you took was worth? Ooh. I stole it from the castle. Three years it took me to get it. And now beating kids? Oh, you didn't even Beat the kid. I know it sounds terrible, but it's like, oh well. Please, she's barely ten years old. Silence. What is this an abusive home? It. Domestic oh. violence? What's Jen even doing there? If you die, it'll be as good as new. You brought this on yourself. I figured he was gonna do that. From now on, I'll protect you. Huh, to the little girl that had the potential for a blade, apparently. I'll keep you safe. Always. But who are you? My name is Jin. What's yours? Actually, I have a theory. I just don't want to say it, just by the look. Laura. Okay, no, forget it. I was going to say, maybe she looks a bit like Nia, except she doesn't look like a cat. So I was like, that doesn't make sense. I didn't want to say it and be wrong. And I was wrong, obviously. 100%. It seems like sending Alcos was the right choice. You all right? I've been through worse. I can handle it. Jin. I swear I'll make your dream come true. So stop putting yourself at risk. There's actually still it's Laura time. in Torna. Is that part of your dream too? Or is that her, maybe? I'm really confused. What are we in the end? This hunger I feel, this thirst. Is it really my own, or is it someone else's? <sighs> Sometimes I can't tell. Only an E just can ask those questions. Tell me, Jin, are you really here? I don't know where I really am. Oh my god, they're gonna start getting to simulation talk. You're starting to sound like a human. Oh yeah? Perhaps. We're not so different after all. Humans and blades. And yet you'll continue to hunt them down. Because of a few humans, you judge all of humanity. That's how it always works. Would we want it any other way? Did it work? 
Are those Orion? Yep, I think. Yep, they're Orion. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at with that walk. Oh, <laughs> kind of chubby you are. And more Ardain. What exactly is an Orion? Other than the fact they just have like pointy ears. How did a little kid get to be like ruler of an empire? We'll probably learn that eventually in Morag's brother, little brother. A tribunal, it looks like. Praetor or Malthus is here in person. And who's going to argue with the Praetor? Does he have any clue how many men we lost? If those Ardanians get away with this, architect, damn it. Quit your grumbling, mate. All this is way beyond our pay grade. You got that right. We're all just faceless cannon fodder to the bigwigs. CEO says jump, we jump. Oh, I think Ringo Starr's got another job going on. Couldn't make it as a position. Join the join the Orions. I know my my British is terrible. Morning, folks. Everyone sleep well? I doubt it. Yep, I figured. Figured as much. Let's take a nice walk over to the, to the hall where the emergency summit's being held. Clear out our, our heads a little. Someone's got to escort Morag over there, right? I think I would be perfectly capable of finding my own way. And Mithra's meant to be attending too, right? Apparently, yes. See, we might as well head over. I'll head over. I guess you're right. Let's go then. Ooh, violence machine. I love violence machine. It's violence machine. All I know is I guess I can start... Since we're at the beginning of a chapter, I don't foresee any toughness. Don't get me wrong. So, I can re-put in some of these weaker blades for sure. They need to level up. Vests, bam. I will attend to your every need, at least for fighting. Uh, na, 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 na. Yeah, you can take him back. It sounds fun. Yeah, because well, I mean, it, it, I guess it didn't really help per se. Nineteen hundred, huh? I guess I'll save for the two thousand. 20. Yeah, I pretty much used up everyone's stuff here. I, I don't think enhancing my arts is really... Nope. I'm trying to get... It's not going to work. Yeah, it's always for the ones I'm not using. Already did you. Nothing going on here. See, it's always the ones I'm not using. Alright then. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to hold it in. I don't know. <laughs> it came out. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, I did a few quests on my own. So to get those out of the way, try and get more blade bonding. It kind of helped. I've been using Pyra a lot more because I feel like she got left out quite a bit. But right now, it doesn't matter when we're, while we're dealing with, dealing with story, you know? Let's just head there and see what's happening. Might as well. I don't foresee any big boss battles for the next little bit. Smaller ones? Yeah. Big ones? Uh-uh. We're -uh. right at the beginning of a chapter. It's going to be mostly story at this point, basically. I haven't really got to look around this room much. Who knows? There could be a treasure chest somewhere. Granted, you shouldn't be stealing from the royal chamber or the. Or maybe the sacred chamber. I don't know what this is. There's stuff on the side, though. Oh, that's where I have to go. Oh, no choice. I have to go that way. Senello. So here is the venue for through here is the venue for the Na summit of nations. I must apologize, but entries forbidden to all but the official representatives of each nation. I guess this is as far as we go. Yes, Bridget and I will proceed to the summit. I'm coming with you, and so are y you, Mithra. Remember? I guess. I'm not sure I like it, but I suppose I have 
to play my part in all of this. Rex, you head back to our chambers with the others and wait for us. No problems. Be careful out in there, okay, Mithra? Don't worry, I'll handle this just fine. Of course, they need the ages. The ages. My deepest thanks to you. Malthus for is kind of like the um, Queen the neutral party. Emperor Nile. As I recall from the Assyrian Treaty of 350 years ago, the Praetorium was to refrain from intervention in times of war. And yet here you are intervening. But I trust you have a suitable justification, Your Eminence. Naturally. But first, to ensure impartiality in these negotiations, may I present Nira Nira, acting chairman of the Argentum Trade Guild. Uh, Furthermore, representing the Tantalese His Highness the Crown Prince Ozikyrus Brunev Tantal Oh my god will also be attending Let's just call him Zeke The Crown Prince, the prodigal prince of Tantal I don't know what nation Tantal is even now We've never been there, have we? This is not Tantal We'll head there eventually, probably Hmm Creep music. Is it? Oh Respect. my god, Torna. Seems the Praetor has as much clout around here as ever. Stop it. Could we not just take them out here and now? Oh my god, it's dagger again. Good point. All the principal nations' heads gathered here. It'd make things easy later. The way to the world tree must first be opened. Wiping out mankind is the easy part. We could manage that ourselves. Even so. That isn't our only goal, remember? We must wait for the stage to be set. Who wanna Is Jin serious about this? I'll wait a bit. Yeah. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> oh, he's serious. He always is. That's creepy. He will annihilate mankind, and then. So Torna is he basically will kill blades. The architect. Well, actually, that comes into my point is that I was going to say maybe we have to fight the architect because you know we always have to fight the god of the game in the Xeno game. Now, it seems, Mor Ardain has been accused of a unilateral breach of treaty in this matter. Emperor Nile, I open the floor to you. Is there anything you wish to say? While we are still conducting investigations into the cause, it cannot be denied that weaponry belonging to our forces was discharged against Uriah. Regardless of any possible reason and circumstance, we are prepared to offer recompense for this grave offence. So you want to settle this with money? We will provide any compensation deemed necessary. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. To my ears, it sounds almost as if you mean to imply that the blame for these offences does not lie with your majesty at all. We are investigating. I ask that we not draw any hasty conclusions. What need is there for investigation? I believe a cause has already been established. There are witnesses. And that would be? What a preposterous notion. The people you speak of are merely a terrorist group. How could they possibly command that measure of... It's the truth. I, Ozyclirus, swear this in the name of King Eulogimenos Tantal. Oh, God, they all have complicated names. ex-chairman Banner give these people some kind of supplies. Military supplies, methinks, and in great number, yes. But why would... What if I were to tell you that the Aegis Malus, who raised the world five centuries ago, was involved? Ridiculous. Everyone knows he disappeared in a blaze of flame. He's very much alive, believe me. That arsehole, I mean, the Aegis has confronted us in person. 
And if my word is not enough for you, how about another Aegis? A blade? But but that poor crystal. <gasps> this is another Aegis. Named Mithra. Your Highness has heard of her, surely. So the rumors that reached us were true. Who is its driver? If you knew that, I dare say your surprise would be even greater. But that is not the matter we are here to discuss, Your Highness. This is a dire situation. Huh. He's concerned, obviously. Six o'clock already. Mithra's been in there for a long time now. It's funny, because she just arrived, technically. They're dealing with they the outside. all nations. It's not like there's anything you or me can do to help. Yeah, you're just a driver <sighs> of the Aegis. You're not welcome. You are of no concern, Rex. You heard uh, Zeke correct. I've noticed something about Malos. He's an Aegis, but you wouldn't know it from how he's fighting. I think... I'm pretty sure he's damaged in some way. You mean he can't use the full extent of his powers? The wounds I dealt in our battle long ago may not be completely healed. His end goal is Elysium. He wants to go back to the place he was born. There he can heal until his powers have recovered. If Malos is allowed to restore himself? The horrors of five centuries past will return. Or worse still, Malos's goal is simple. He means to destroy humanity in its entirety. Why would anyone desire that? Perhaps he doesn't even need a reason. It seems to be a deep-seated drive. An instinct. As natural as breathing. All of this is my responsibility. Praetor Amalthus? Whatever do you mean? It was none other than I who awakened Malos and unleashed him upon the world. So, your eminence, the rumor that you were once Malos's driver is... I never intended to obscure the truth. It is writ plain for all to see in history books. I was a fool. It was to prevent such foolishness that all passage to the World Tree was forbidden after the Aegis War. However, it has become apparent that the laws of men do not apply to Malos. <sighs> the time may have come to lift that restriction. Elysium, here we come. Well, not right away, obviously. I appreciate this. Don't think you've earned my trust. But since Rex is going to Elysium, their paths are bound to cross. That's all. I'm surprised. You seem so devoted to the boy. Is for both our sakes. But you, Amalthus, who is it that you're living for? <laughs> Why does anyone live? Morning, folks. You're looking a bit better slept than yesterday. Pretty much. Fan state funeral is to be held today, is it not? Yeah, I think it was meant to be happening in Sirius Plaza, right? Outside of the Sanctum. You'll be going, right, chum? Yeah, it'd be wrong for me not to. Sirius Plaza, very not far away. Time to go. Quick, quick. Master Pond's so bossy sometimes. Okay, and I can't bring anyone else in, so I have to leave it like this. 
Oh, hi, Pyra. I guess there's nothing to look at over here, so jump down. We're going to see Fan's funeral. Is Plaza? Gotta go down here. Oh, I guess it's out here. But does her core crystal? It was the damage. That's the. If you damage a core crystal, does that effectively kill the blade? Because it is cracked. That might have been the purpose. For a state funeral, it's not very full. I guess they did call her a goddess. The state funeral makes sense. Shouldn't you be with him? He's a boy. Best not to bother them at times like this. <laughs> I expected you'd be more clingy. You really are different from him. Actually, letting him be was more her idea than mine. Really? Pirates? Get out. So wait, you're saying you want to go be clingy or what? I'll burn you. Mm, that's part of that burns. Sheesh. It's weird though. What is? I mean, don't you think it's odd? Normally, if a blade or its driver dies, it'll just go back to being a core crystal. So why is Fan just dead? I did wonder the same thing. There's only one way I know for a dead blade to keep its physical form. Remember Minnow? I mean Cole. He was a flesh eater. Yeah. But Fan wasn't a flesh eater. I can say that for sure. What's that? That's the shape of Fan's core crystal. Well, how it used to be. But now it's a triangle. Rex and I are quite a unique case, but this is different still. How is it different? If a blade shares its core with another, its shape changes in a uniform fashion. In our case, the center part went to Rex and the outer part to us. I don't know why that is, but it seems to be a rule. But Fans isn't like that. Exactly. It looks more like someone stole her core, doesn't it? Jin. I assume. I always assume it's Jin. If, 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 if it's a core, it's Jin. That was quite the grand funeral ceremony. It spoke volumes as just how, just as to just how much Fan was loved by her people. The goddess of Indol won't be in easy position to replace. Hey Rex, what are you going to do from here on out? If we're going to reach the world tree, we'll need the Praetor's help, but... Master Rex, there you are. Praetor Amalthus wishes to speak with you. He is waiting in the audience chamber. That's perfect timing, then. Maybe he wants to talk about the world tree? I'm afraid I cannot say. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go ourselves on over, get ourselves on over to that audience chamber, then. <sighs> Just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Audience chamber, out here. Audience chamber, bed. Audience chamber. And then something else. Email. Hi there. For some reason, I can't forget the sight of Lady Fan's face as she gazed upon the tales of all rest creation. She looks so strangely melancholy. I can't imagine what must have been going through her mind. It was because she wanted to remember, but can't. But we know that because it was mentioned. Huh. This picture here, the creation of all rest. It's like a holy painting you'd find maybe in a church. Well, I mean, this is basically the equivalent of a church. Because part of it here is like salvation, the other here is what, damnation? Or this is the, after the, I don't know how to interpret it. That was my interpretation. Part of it's on fire and part of it's clear. Huh. Up, 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 up.
up, 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 up. It's gonna cut part way through anyway. See, watch. By the time I hit the top, it's gonna fade out. There we go. Core crystals? My apologies. Did I keep you waiting? No, not really. What were you doing? I was cleansing the core crystals. It markedly increases their resonance success rate. Bonding with the crystal carries certain risks, you understand. I know. When I became the driver of an Aegis, this power was awakened in me. So, I might be able to do it too? Who knows? Different people are cut out for different things. Right, yeah. Now then, my work is done for the day. Come with me. A special envoy? To Tantal? Who? Oh. Me? Might as well. Correct. Behold. As a salvager, I imagine you are already aware. But this is Allrest, the world we currently inhabit. We make our home on Titans, moving in circles around the world tree. And here lies the Great Void. This void came into being 500 years ago. It did not exist prior to that. So I've heard. It's in our way anyway. It stopped us reaching the world tree. The Great Void is carved from the Cloud Sea by a monstrous beast known as Ophion. Wait, you mean that thing? Which apparently Pyra... To be precise, it is an artifice, a servant of the Aegis. Pyra can do anything Mithra. about it. Or Mithra, whoever, whoever it was. So that thing is Mithra's? Then what did it attack us for? Doesn't make sense. Ophion was felled in the ancient battle with Malos, sinking below the clouds. This means someone must have revived it. Correct. And you're saying that someone was Zeke's home country, Tantal? Yes. They gave Ophion one directive. To ensure that none approach the World Tree. They sought to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the Aegis War. So, an obstacle was created. The Great Void. How did they manage a feat like that? As I've said, mankind is regressing. Only one artifact remains that can rescind Ophion's orders, and it lies in Tantal. It's called the Omega Feta, and it's guarded by the royal family. Hey, you have to be a part of the royal family. I've prepared your envoy documents already. Your quest is to set foot in Elysium, correct? Malos and his ilk will surely seek the Omega Feta for themselves. I would ask you to reach Elysium before they do, and inform me of what you find there. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man, and so that people may have a future in this dying world. That's a lot of pressure. So Zeke, you're going to be guiding us to Tantal, right? Sure am, but let's head back to our chambers before we talk about it. This isn't exactly the place for discussing stuff. Back to our room. Got it. 
I told you. Back here, back there, back here. What the? Oh, that was the doors? Like, sound effect? They prayed for a study. Which I'm going to try and rob. And there's nothing to rob here. You'd think he'd have something valuable. The door's going to open. Oh, wow. That's like Star Trek style. And it just closes. Weirdly. Hector. You're bound for Tantal, I believe. I trust that you will fulfill your duty as the Praetor's envoy. Remember, his eminence has placed all of his hope on you. Or in me, not on me. To reach Elysium, we must first stop Ophion, the beast that carved the Great Void. And Ophion's directive was issued from Tantal, Zeke's homeland. I prepared the envoy documents for you so that you may enter as representatives of Indol. I entreat you to reach Elysium before Malos. Do us a favor for our one. Yeah, yeah. Like you said in there. Let's just skip to the chambers. I guess that's the closest I'll get. And we're you. And we're yeah, you. Go. We're you. Ooh, a barrel. How did I miss that? Treasure acquired. Oh, Come because I don't have focus. Oh, that was not by wisdom, I'm missing. She just needs one more Nopon wisdom. But I haven't talked to enough Nopon. It's harder than you think. Oh, the tragedy of it all. Is something wrong? To think the day would come when I would have to enter the date of Lady Fan's death into the annals of Indol. The children loved her so. I don't think they really understand yet that she's she is gone forever. And we will never again hear her beautiful voice ring out in song. Hmm, there is a chance though. I say that because... Remember, well, she only ha may have half of her core crystal. Okay, it's this way. I am so confused. Oh. Now, I'm not saying she'll come back completely, but it is a bit bizarre. They're obviously uh, hinting at something. Something wrong. I needed to catch my breath after experiencing such a historical moment. A spot of prayer should do the trick. Really, I suppose I ought to go home to Argenta before I get mixed up in any of this, but I think I'll stick around. I only plan to come here on a lazy tour spree, but my merchant blood is telling me I have to see this through. Wow, a human merchant! Who would have thunk it? Most merchants are Nopons in every instance. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying literally, but in the sense that um, usually the Nopons are like the biggest merchants. Otherwise, I guess they're just small business owners. Yeah, we're not going to be getting much uh, playing today. It's supposed to give you a story. We prepared your rooms. Yes. I'm not even going to read that. Rest. What do you have to we tell us? We can reach Tantal by ship, but once we're there, we'll need to do a spot of walking. So we're traveling with Shell, you? Never thought I'd see the day. I think you'll find I make a fantastic ally. Mm, luck of Zeke, not so great. Bet we shipwrecked by tomorrow. <laughs> Cheeky furball. We're all gonna die. Hey, Zeke. You said before that Torna concerned you too. What did you mean by that? What? Oh, yeah, that. I don't know about those clowns, but Torna, the country that fell 500 years ago, they were the ancestors of us Tantalese. The people of Tantal are descended from Adam, the hero of Torna, who escaped its destruction. So, after Pyra fell asleep, Adam escaped to Tantal. And he just, like, That's breeded, right. like, mad? That is the first I've heard of it. I have studied much history, but this story never featured. Most peculiar. <laughs> We're humble don't really like to brag about it. The only real trace left is in this here sigil of the royal family. You recognize it? So why did you awaken Hayes? Because her power was of great use to me. Indol has found itself under attack from Torna a number of times. She was necessary in driving them back. Really? Then why don't you seem to have any others? Blades, that is. 
<coughs> Driver though I may be, I am no fighter. Besides, I find the warrior monks here so reliable. They get the job done. <laughs> if you say so. I wonder, do you know why Torna are using the name of a dead country? Jin was a blade of Torna once. Loyalty or nostalgia? Who can say? Perhaps both. Is that really all there is to it? You don't think so? I don't know much about what happened while I slept. There are no written records, either. All we have is stories passed down. And you think that is insufficient? History is a murky thing. Only those present can truly know what took place. But weren't you one of those present? And that is why I offer you my cooperation. But you won't tell us anything. You're being vague. I guess we'll find out if we go to Tanto. Right, let's head for the Jodas port. We can make it a leisurely walk? Go, oh, can we make it a leisurely walk? I guess why? It's been yonk since I last went home to Tantal. I've been thinking of Indol as my home for s so long now. It feels weird to leave. I want to enjoy my last moments here. You can be shockingly sentimental sometimes. I know, shocking, isn't it? Shut up, you two! Gonna take some Indoline presents for the folk you haven't seen in a while? Ha! As if my old man would want any of that. Come on, let's start walking to Geodas Port. You could grab a swig of Odifa along the way. They don't have that stuff in Tanta, so this could be your last chance. I said shut up already! Jeez, someone's defensive! What if I decide not to walk it? Why, are we, why were you here for so long? So many things they bring up and then they just don't address. But I know they in a Xeno game, that's always on purpose. They're trying to keep you ignorant. Doesn't matter which game. Xeno Saga, Xeno Gears, Xeno Blades. It's all the same in the end. They don't want you to know certain things. How is my Nopon wisdom going anyway? Do I need you in? Or can I just talk to Nopon? Oh my god, I'm two away. Why do I need Nopon wisdom to open a barrel? Great, now I need to find us any Nopon. There's not going to be any Nopon. I know it. Sure it's a good thing my blade's so powerful. Is something wrong? The other day my blade found a poor sod who'd fallen into the Indol's back. She was from the refugee camp. She said she didn't want any help from a blade. Got quite angry. But we couldn't just leave her there it's like that. So we had a, to manhandle her out of there. Wow, what a story. Good thing my blade was there. She hated the blade, but then we got we manhandled her. Manhandled. Isn't that amazing stuff? Just give me no knock. There are knock on here, but not a lot you can talk to. That's my issue. Otherwise, I'd have it. Renashio. I was just remembering how lady, kindly Lady Fan used to treat all the refugees. I cannot understand how anyone could bring themselves to take the life of such a kind and noble soul. It feels as though the indel I know and love is gradually slipping away. It scares me a little. He hates change. Everyone does, but it happens. Now what? We're just standing there. There's your Orions, and we have the Ordanians. Hmm. Tensions seem high. Duh. From what I gather, it seems an official summit is to be held between Morardane and Uriah. A summit? You mean about the recent puncher? But I thought... Didn't Praetor Amalthus get them to stop and sort it all out? Perhaps there are some discussions they would prefer Indol not to be privy to. Besides, Uriah doesn't like to associate too closely with Indol. They'd hate to be seen as acquiescing to the Praetor's will. Got to keep up appearances, you know. Acquiescing? You what? Like letting him tell them what's what. <laughs> For such a span, are you sure you some big words? How can He's a prince! Stop calling me that! Buzz off, kitty no-mates! 
Anyway, what was this that about? Explain why Morag isn't around. Indeed, she has much to attend to. Yeah, but she'll come back. You can tell who's temporary by who you can bond blades with. Shared sovereignty over Gormot. Yes. I don't think anything less will be sufficient to placate them. The Senate would never approve it. I can overrule them by decree. Of course, I would need to secure Senator Roderick's cooperation. Imperial decree? If it's come to that, well, then I cannot dissent. I cannot help but admire your courage, Your Majesty. That means a lot coming from you. Acting Chairman Nira Nira. Sorry for intrude. Is emergency. So Nira Nira take liberty of drop by unannounced. You certainly look troubled, Chairman. So what is this emergency you speak of? Well. Oh, why? I know we're going to learn. Probably like now. But still, why do you cut it off? Have you heard anything interesting lately? So I hear more Ardain and Uriah are finally making peace. Noble war is a good thing, but I don't know what more Ardain is going to do from here on out. Everyone knows this homeland isn't going to last much longer. Is more Ardain just going to perish with its titan? Oh, it's no good. I'm just depressing myself thinking about it. I'll go grab a pick-me-up Odifa at Cafe Lutino. Man, those Odifas. Everyone loves them. Everyone loves an Odifa. There's a quest down there, but... Uh, Almost no way. Sniffy. Well, this is where I get a knot on out, isn't it? Oh, he's in there anyway. Something wrong. Sniff, 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 sniff. Friend has smelled strong prayers. Friend very strong? Sorry, Sniffy should not sniff, sniff friends before it even say hello. Sniffy Fee have very good nose. Never make any mistake with smell before. And nose of Sniffy Fee say Sniffy should open new shop in Temperentia. Wow, pretty impressive. But nobody have shopped there yet. So Sniffy not know of good travel route. Sniffy think nose alone probably not enough to keep follow, fellow merchants safe. So we're sniffing around to find strong person we can to use as bodyguard. Sniffy sniff sniffs 100 people and you smell strongest out of all 100. Please friends, help Sniffy set up shop in Temperentia. I'll do what I can. Yay, thank friend much. Sniffy will wait on Overlook Hill in Temperentia. Then come quick. Got it. A ripe new frontier for business with the merchant not on. Not right now. I'm one not on short. I just don't know if there's gonna be one I can actually like. You don't count. I guarantee you don't. Oh, what? you count. I have not on wisdom. Finally. Maxed out. Happy feels stronger. Do you have not on wisdom? Two? Fortitude. I don't think you do. So if I needed more not on wisdom, how would I get it? Literally only Poppy has it. Not even Cutie does. I'll go do that barrel later. Let's first figure out what the hell's going on. So, we can make our way to Tantal from here. Okay, we may not learn. But more eggs have to join us. I assume the Praetor has a ship waiting for us. Hey, Shalad. What? Are we really gonna just leave Morag behind? Who's leaving anyone? She's got her own priorities, you know? Yeah, but still. Anyway, her schedule is filled with official duties right now. For sure. It's just a bit of a shame is all. You know, since we came all this way together. I guess I know how you feel, chum. Huh? Speak of the devil? She's definitely coming along, but why? What happened? 
banners going for the summit. On top of everything, an assassination attempt? Ah, oh, your brother. If blood gets spilled at the summit, it'll mean war. On who? War's good for business, after all. I guess he wants to use that to get himself back in with the guild. Why, that little? I was wondering where he'd slunk off to. What a sneaky git. It seems acting chairman Nira Nira wishes to take care of this incident covertly, to avoid it reflecting badly upon the guild. So you came to us? If we mobilize the army, the whole thing will become public. Oh, I get it. So we're a more convenient solution. I'm not forcing you. If you refuse, Bridget and I will do what we can alone. Ah, oh, come off it, lady. You wouldn't even think of dragging us into this, if you thought you could handle it on your own. I suppose not. You know Banner as well as I. There's no telling what he might be plotting. According to Acting Chairman Nira Nira, several giant weapons were being built at the factory where we last saw him. And one of them is currently unaccounted for. Giant weapons. Got it. Besides, you know, we've got our own score to settle with him. Thank you. It will be easier to focus on my duties knowing you are on the case. Good luck. Leave it to us. Her main story quest, Banner the Schemer. Well, it's basically going to the factory. Which means we are a bit diverted. What the hell? The part of the main quest? What the hell? Well, this is where we're going to end it anyway. It's getting kind of long. Alright, so next time, I don't know why. Okay, let me, actually, let me look. Ask around Indol and see if you can find information about Shitty Figures plotting assassination attempt. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it covertly. Hey, you know about assassination attempt? You know anything about it? I know we're probably not gonna ask like that. Anyways, next time we ask people stuff. Maybe I'll do some stuff on my own before then. Anyways, so long!